Welcome to the Learning to Learn site. Your instructor has assigned some activities for you to complete at this site. To do so, you will need to register for the site. Uh, so once you get to this page, you can register in two locations. Up in the far left-hand corner in this black bar, there's a registration um, button. Also in the white menu bar, still towards the top of the page over here, mid-page, under login is also a register. So you'll click one of those. Once you are on this page, you will need to fill in all of the required boxes. So a username, you do not need to use your Midas ID. However, we suggest that you use it just so it's easy to remember. Your email address, you do need to use your school ODU email address. Um, two passwords, those passwords are entire, well, it's one password. You have to confirm it, write it in twice. That's entirely up to you. Uh, and then you will need to put in your name, and this is important so we can figure out who you are in relation to your username. Once you are done completing that, over here in the lower right-hand corner is a button that says Complete Sign Up. Click in, on Complete Sign Up. Uh, the website will send an email address to your ODU email account, because that's the email you gave it. Um, when you get that email, go ahead, open it up. There will be a link that you need to click. Um, to verify that you're a real person and not a spam bop. So please do that. Once you do that, then you will be able to come back to the site and log in. So if we go back to the main page, once you're registered, you can log in in the same two locations that you register. So in the far upper left-hand corner in the black menu bar or about mid-page under the login button. So I'm going to quickly log in. Now, once you're here and you need to complete the activities that your faculty member assigned you, uh, your faculty member may have given you direct URLs or direct links to the activities. However, if for some reason you need to find the activity yourself, um, there are a couple ways you can do that. Uh, one, all of the activities are lumped into three major categories. Learning support, so I'm, I'm uh, hovering over the menu bars on the white menu bar. Learning support, and then there's subcategories research and writing support, and then subcategories, and living support. Uh, so one, if you know what category and subcategory your activities are in, so say you, you know it's a research and writing activity and it's probably something about finding and tracking secondary resources, you can click on this page and here are all the activities. They're listed here. Um, however, if you don't, you don't know what category it is, up here in the white menu bar on the right, there's an index button. If you go to the index page, every single activity title is listed and each title links out to the activity. So that's another way to find these. And then finally, if you have the activity, the title of the activity, you can go to the search box up here on the right. For example, a lot of the activities have the word reflect in them. So if I type in reflect, it will pull up activities that include both the word reflect and reflection. Um, so that's a variety of ways that you can find um, the activity you want to do. Now, all of the activities, so let's go to this process reflection one. All the activities will require that you um, leave some type of comment or uh, upload something. So notice there's this choose file button here down under leave a reply. So if, for example, the activity asks you to attach a document or to uh, attach an image, that's how you'll do this. Uh, then you'll type in whatever it is you need to type in and then click post comment. Again, you will not have the ability to post comments unless you have uh, an actual account at the site. That's why that'll be important to do. Uh, so hopefully this will get you started. Uh, your instructor will also give you uh, my email. My name is Shelly Rodrigo. Uh, if you have any difficulties and we will try to work through them. Thank you very much for your time.